I'd now like to have a brief four to five minute um, um, uh, presentation from the building committee, which uh, Mr. Fitzgibbons brought forward at our last town meeting. The building committee has been formed, has been meeting. They don't, are not going to be able to take any questions tonight, but they wanted to let you know a little bit about what's going on with the building committee. Mr. Tudrin. Good evening. My name is David Tudrin. I'm the co-chair of the Havel Municipal Buildings Committee. As many of you know, the town commissioned several recent studies which reported on the condition of a majority of the town-owned buildings. After some deliberation, the select board recognized the need for a municipal buildings committee to be formed to interpret these reports, prioritize actions, and make recommendations on the future of the town's buildings. The resulting seven-member municipal committee, which is here with me today, um, is formed by persons of, uh, with construction, building inspection, development, building maintenance, engineering, and architectural qualifications. Each of us has a strong commitment to this town and towards making recommendations which are in its best interest. Our charges include interpreting the individual needs of town departments, both short and long term, and how they translate to actual space needs, analyzing how diverse municipal and community functions best fit into our existing buildings, if they do at all, and determining if additional buildings are necessary and determining improvements necessary to keep our buildings functioning safely for town employees, tenants, and for the general public. This is not a small task. Some of these buildings are historic. Some of them are relatively new. Some of them define the town center and define the character of this, of this town. And some are recognized as community icons. But each of them will require moderate to significant capital reinvestment if they are to be kept. Formed in March of this year, our committee began with an in-depth field visit of each of the seven buildings. Uh, we invited department heads to discuss their observations and began to assess the long-term needs of our department and how they might possibly fit into our town's existing facilities. The spring town meeting warrant closed just a few short days, unfortunately, before our first meeting, so we weren't able to provide any new articles for you tonight, although I think we have a full agenda. However, we were able to meet with members of the Historic Commission, the library trustees, the police and fire departments, as well as several other department's uh, representatives to uh, better understand the articles uh, you'll be voting on tonight. We reviewed tonight's articles related specifically to building improvements, and as a committee, we have confirmed that all are aligned with our own initial observations of these buildings, and they are funds well spent. It's becoming clear to us that our direction as a committee must be less of an up-down vote on the fate of each of the individual buildings and more of a well-conceived long-term vision of how departments and functions may be relocated or expanded into their existing facilities or other town-owned facilities or in new facilities. These actions are all linked together in some way. Uh, but realizing that this might take some time to devise a plan, to vote on, fund, and to fully implement our recommendations, the committee has recently focused on prioritizing some of the immediate repairs to keep the facilities and buildings operational and safe in the short term. These short term needs will be discussed with the select board in the very near future. Uh, but between now and August of this year, we intend to develop our full list of recommendations and formulate a number of town meeting articles, which at the discretion of the select board will be offered at the, the fall town meeting for your consideration. But rather than expect voters to digest our recommendations while the articles are presented on the floor, we'd like to get residents educated about our plans at an earlier stage. To that end, we're planning a few open house presentations uh, probably in the August to September time frame to drum up some interest and talk to you all informally about your own ideas. Tonight's articles include a significant, significant amount of capital expenditures, so I won't prolong the meeting any further, but we have an opportunity uh, to present, when we have an opportunity to present um, a proposal for the fate of the, the town buildings in the fall meeting, uh, voters will likely again be asked to invest in our town's infrastructure, perhaps at a much larger scale than we're considering tonight. Uh, but this cost, uh, to, but the cost to defer repairs and not to examine the long-term needs of the town can be a sobering lesson, and our committee recognizes the importance of our charge. To that end, we ask for your participation and your support. Uh, please attend a meeting, uh, speak to us about your ideas, get involved. For more information or uh, to contact us, go to the uh, town's website under MBC. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. 
I'd also like to recognize Daniel Dukevitz. He's here tonight. Daniel is a longtime selectman who's just recently got off the board. Daniel, thank you for your service to the town.